Marketplaces are a great place to start with your digital marketing, but there's another concept that you should consider, which is that when you start digital marketing either for yourself or for a client, it's generally best to amplify what's already working, what's already generating sales. This is something Frank Kern talks about a lot. So for example, if a business gets a lot of sales from phone calls, then the low-hanging fruit for you as a digital marketer is to do something to generate more phone calls. If you try to do something that fundamentally changes the selling process, like content marketing or trying to sell through a website, that's not going to work. At least it's not going to work in the short term. It's much easier to just add more fuel to what's already working, which could be generating phone calls. And I'm going to walk you through an example that happened to me today. Somebody came to me with advice for Facebook ads. This guy is selling clothing and shoes for the price point of around $50 to $200. So at that price point, it can be very profitable to run conventional Facebook ads, which are conversion ads, sales ads, carousel ads, where the Facebook algorithm is optimizing to get the sale itself, not getting awareness, not generating leads. But the problem with that kind of advertising is that you need to build a website. He didn't even have a website yet. So you, you're going to have to spend a lot of money getting the website designed. You're going to have to pay for a subscription to Shopify. And it also fundamentally changed the sales process because the way he gets sales now is through a marketplace. And you can't really drive traffic to a marketplace because in situations like that, you can't install a Facebook pixel. So you cannot tell the Facebook algorithm, optimize this for revenue. So even though the product and the price point was a perfect fit for sales ads on Facebook, it didn't make sense in his case because there would be a long period of time where he would be learning about the website, learning how to sell through the website, developing all these core business skills before he's able to be profitable. So what I said was the easiest place to start is with marketplaces. So he was getting a lot of sales from Facebook Marketplace. And really, all he needed to do was put more money into Facebook Marketplace. So that means the boost through Facebook Marketplace is to get more visibility on the Marketplace listings. There's no need to invest thousands of dollars immediately on website development. You don't need to pay hundreds of dollars for a Shopify subscription. You don't need to fundamentally alter how you sell. You just need to amplify what's working, which is getting more traffic to Facebook Marketplace. Make sure your Facebook Marketplace listing has better keywords, has better optimization. You could hire a virtual assistant to manage your Facebook Marketplace, get more efficient at putting products on Facebook Marketplace, pay for professional photography to enhance those product listings. So you can see how the low hanging fruit with digital marketing is look at where the sales are coming from and see how you can add more energy and effectiveness to that rather than trying to reinvent the wheel by uh, moving the company in, in a marketing business process that's fundamentally new and where there's going to be a lot of learning required before you can be profitable.